A fair coin is tossed continuously between two people, A and B. If any consecutive sequence of three flips results in hits, hits, tails, in this order, A wins the game. If, however, it is hits, tails, tails, B wins the game. What then is the probability of A winning this game? Taking a look at the conditions for winning for both A and B, we see that they both begin with a hit. Everything interesting in this problem has a sequence beginning with hit. Let's begin there. Visualize the problem by laying out the possible sequences after the second flip and after the third flip. Let X be the probability of A winning from this first hit. Since we are only concerned about A winning, we can ignore the last branch that ends with B winning. X then is likely represented by the probabilities of the remaining paths. Let's explore each one starting with path 3. Path 3 ends with the non-winning sequence HTH, so the flipping continues. Note the last flip ends with hits, with the prior tails not forming part of a winning sequence. It is as if we are starting from a single hit again, with the possible outcome playing out exactly as we laid out, and there being a probability of X of A winning from this point. Hence, you say the following. The probability of winning on path 3 is the probability of ending with HDH, a product of two halves, then to the probability of X winning from that point. This is path 3's contribution to X, forming our recurrent relation. Moving on to paths 1 and 2. Path 2 is the trivial case of the winning sequence being obtained after flipping hits, followed immediately by a tails. Let's add its probability to the sum, the product of two halves. Path 1 is where things get interesting. Ending with 3 hits, a non-winning sequence, the flipping will continue. This time, the prior hits together with the last hits forms the beginning of the winning sequence. If a tails is obtained next, A will win the game. We are starting from a sequence of 2 hits this time, where of which the possible outcomes have already been laid out once again. Let the probability of winning from this sequence of double hits be Y. One path leads to A winning, the other loops back to a double hit, both paths occurring with equal probability. Hence the recurring relation for y. y is equal to 1. This means A is guaranteed to win starting from a sequence of double hits. For those who find this perplexing, consider this. If in a game of coin flips, the condition for winning is to flip a tails, and you get the reflip on the hits, then you are guaranteed to win, even if the coin was unfair. The only way to never win this game is to play with a double-headed coin. This logic plays out here. A tails is required next to win, and hits brings us back to the starting point for another flip. We now know that getting to a sequence of two hits guarantees a win, which has a probability of 1 over 2 occurring. And we update our, our recurrence relation as follows. Solving for x gives us 2 over 3. For completeness, let's also find z, the probability of b winning this game. Setting up the recurrence relation, z evaluates to 1 over 3, which together with the 2 over 3 of a winning, this sums to 1, representing the probability of the sample space either a or b winning. Since these probabilities are conditional starting with the hits, let's just complete the task by considering the probability of starting with the hits. With equal probability of starting with the hits and tails, and tails giving us a reflip, the recurrence relation is as follows, yielding once again 2 over 3. For a similar question with an unfair coin, watch this one from Goldman Sachs.